dragon, monkey, rooster, saffron. I bet you hang out with more people who, who are interested in this sort of thing than I, I do. But obviously you're going to have to guess and we've got no lifelines left. Mm. I would say it's definitely tiger or dragon. Right. Monkey was a few years ago, wasn't it? I seem to remember. And rooster sounds funny, so I wouldn't be surprised if it was rooster. That's back in my mind. But I don't think, to be absolutely honest, if they you don't know, just go don't know because let it us not lose 16,000. They? they might do. Let's have that while it sounds funny. Well, I know, exactly. It just comes around and rooster's there. But I'm not going to lose 16,000. You seem to That's think it's... Very good. I don't think we should. I don't think we should answer this question. We Do should you not guess, unless you know absolutely for certain. I feel it's tiger, but. So you're brow beating her now. I'm sorry. But I. Uh... Do you think we should guess? Are you feeling it's rooster? I'm feeling it's not monkey. <laughs> <laughs> it's not monkey. That's all I got so far. I know it's not monkey. You know it's not monkey. So I'm afraid I'm gonna I'm gonna have to say that sixteen thousand is a very useful sum of money. Saffron? You know, if I was certain it was tiger, I'm not certain it's tiger. So I'm afraid we're gonna take the sixteen. Don't be afraid, it's good. Well it is good, it's a great it's great. Final answer, can take the money. Griff? <laughs> Saffron? I think you're right. Mm. I think we take the money. OK, give them a big hand. They go away with £16,000 to add to the total for Hackney Empire. I will tell you, Saffron, if you'd been a little bit braver and you'd said, shut up, Griff, Tiger, you'd have lost £15,000. <laughs> you know what the right answer was, don't you? Rooster. It was Rooster. <laughs> Give a big hand. £16,000. The end credits roll. Drivers are friendly, always a welcome smile from your local departure and mile after mile. See the very best of Britain with a driver who's your guide. Such amazing value makes an unforgettable ride. Our drivers are shearings and make your holiday the best. Enjoy with like-minded people as our very special guest. Book for only £1 deposit. Visit shearings.com today. Let's enjoy the journey together. Discovering your family tree can change your life. And there's nowhere better to unlock it than Find My Past. With British and Irish records you won't find anywhere else. Clever hints that make growing your family tree easy. And a knowledgeable, friendly community to help. You can't choose your family, but you can choose where you find it. To start your family tree for free, search Find My Past. When Tony passed, we wanted to celebrate him his way. All he ever spoke about was bite this, bite that. I'll never forget our first date. Huge grin on his face as he rode up on that big noisy thing. And that's exactly the way he'd want to be remembered. At Co-op Funeral Care, we know everyone is different. That's why we offer funeral plans to funeral services that are personal. Every step of the way. With Sky Store, you can take your new year to a whole new level. Ready? Ready. Let's do this. Higher. Further. Faster. Now! Mysteries have a way of driving people mad. What? Whoa. Drama! Now let's roll! You could change all their lives, Mr. Walker. Where do we start? With over 10,000 movies at your fingertips, you're in for an epic new year with Sky Store. This all started as a weird little burglary in an auction house. It was shocking. Who steals a rhino head? Final one. Sold on social status. 
throw in your wine or mix with cocaine or whatever, and this is not just a medicine anymore. It seems I much money in my life. They are deliberately trying to drive the rhino to extinction. Get set to push back a Quizmeister General with The Chase, weeknights at 9 on Challenge. On Strike It Lucky Tonight, a jackpot of £3,000. Change your whole personality in style. Win a day at a top beautician's. Trace your roots, a week's holiday in sun-drenched Gambia or a weekend among the chestnut blossom and the schlosses of Bavaria. All these prizes waiting to be won tonight on Strike It Lucky. Now, ladies and gentlemen, your host, Michael Barrymore. Welcome, is it Jill? It is. And Peter. Nice to meet Hello. you. Hi. And whereabouts are you from? Lytham St Anne's. Lytham St Anne's. Very nice. What do you do for a living? I'm Jill? an orthoptist. Pardon? <laughs> an orthoptist. Are you? Mm. Really? Mm. Is that something, something to do with the eyes? It is, yes. Oh, good. Yes, so what yes. do you do? <laughs> um, well, we diagnose and treat eye conditions such as lazy eyes and squints and... Yeah. Things like that. Things. That's nice. And Peter? Uh, I'm a technical officer with a leading plastics company in the North West. I just said Peter. <laughs> I didn't ask you what you did, Peter. I just said, Peter, <laughs> you get on that seat, you fly away. <laughs> so, what do you do, Peter? Uh, well, it's just really custom liaison and uh, custom liaison. That's right. Yeah. Hello, and then you sell them things. Well, right hopefully, there. yes. Yes. And uh, are you married? No, engaged. No, engaged. Engaged. How long have you known each other? Uh, Ooh, well, about ten years. Ten years. But <laughs> so what's up, Peter? Are you. Uh... <laughs> You know, what, what's, what is the news, Peter? I mean, what is wrong? Well, it, we didn't start going out together for about three years ago. We yeah. actually came back on a holiday. Holiday. And uh, we started sort of course. Started. <laughs> we got together on the plane. On the got together on the plane. Yeah. On the way back. back the well, you were going along and he was knocking on the window outside. No. no. <laughs> so, come in, Peter. <laughs> Well, I just happened to sit next to him. I mean, yeah. it could have been anybody, and they'd have been here tonight, really. Could so. have been anybody. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky old wasn't sitting there, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you and I, Jill, be out there talking to us. So, my, my mate Peter. <laughs> Getting nervous, are you, Pete? <laughs> <laughs> so, and uh, so, you, when, when are you going to get married? You got yourself somewhere uh, sorted out yet? To maybe probably next, next year, year sometime, maybe. Yeah. Next year, yeah. Mm -hmm. Somewhere to live? Yes, we've got a house. Oh, you got that already? Yeah. That's right, yeah. I see. So, do you use it? We do everything the wrong way around, you see. You do everything the wrong way around? <laughs> <laughs> hey! Say no more! <laughs> well, what's life without a bit of adventure? There you go. Well, nice to meet you, Peter. Uh, you no, much. you're Jill. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you, Jill. Let's just welcome them. Have a nice time tonight. Thank you. And I see, I see, ha ha ha. It's Danny, that is Danny LaRue. I worked with him last year. Yes, traded ideas. Ha, 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 ha. Watch it, mates. Now you see it. Now you don't. Thank you. <laughs> I've asked come on your show, Michael. How do you do? <laughs> That's all right. I'm taking somebody. Who, what's your name, my love? Yes. Some porn. Some porn. Yes. Some porn. Yes. I see. And <laughs> Ian? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you mean give it some? Who's that? <laughs> This lady they always say, give it some of you. <laughs> Is that a friend of yours? I think so. You're not about to nut me or anything, are you? No, no. And some porn, uh, just mm. come in a little bit so we can see you at home. Uh, yes. No, just over there, that's lovely. Uh, whereabouts are you from? Thailand. Thailand? Yes. Are you? I see. And you're married? Yeah, for oh. ten years. Yeah. yeah, and where did you meet? Um, we in met Bangkok. in Bangkok. Uh, have, you, have you got any children? <laughs> Two. Two? Two sons. Two sons. Two sons. Mm. What are the names? Uh, Amnaj and Amnui. And what? Um, <laughs> is it is it a Thai, Thai name? They're Thai names. Yeah. Yes. Um, I'm Naj and I'm Nui. I'm Naj and I'm Nui. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Naj and I'm Nui. Yeah. I'm not like that. You okay, son, Paul? Yeah. I'm yeah. Okay. What, what are you crying for? Just make me love. It makes you laugh. <laughs> Do him. Yeah. Yeah. Oi, it's my job. What's your game? 
Does he always, does he always make you laugh, Sam Paul? Yeah. Yeah? Well, regularly? Yes. Yes? <laughs> So, so he makes you laugh, well that's lovely. Have a lovely night with us yes. this evening and enjoy Thanks. yourself Thank and you. relax. Okay, there we are, let's welcome them. Hello, how do you do? Welcome to the show, Where, whereabouts are you from? Chesterfield. Chesterfield. Married? Yes. Yeah, and what do you do, Pam? I'm a midwife. A midwife? Mm. And Alan? <laughs> Hello. Hello there. All right? Not so bad, thank Good. You. Is that it? That's it, <laughs> <laughs> Smartest man, uh, what do you do, sir? I'm a traffic policeman. You're a traffic policeman. Welcome. <laughs> and, um... <laughs> well, look, somebody's got to do the job. You go up and down mm -hmm. the motorway, do you? Uh, not often, no. Not, not often? Motorway. Not on the motorway. Oh, you don't do that one? No. You, what, you got the smaller cars? No, we've got the big cars, but we're on the uh, main roads of North Derbyshire. I see. And well, where'd you meet? Oh, we met in Hong Kong. Mm -hmm. In Hong Kong? Yeah. And you got any hobbies? Um, I'm in a male voice choir in Chesterfield. Chesterfield male voice, male voice choir? Yeah. Ah, can you sing? Obviously you can. Not, you not so as you notice. Can. You can? Yes. What's, his, what's his best one, Pam? Um, sing Dem Bones. Oh, are you joking? Hey? Dem, do <laughs> Dem Bones. Dem Bones? Mm. Go on. <laughs> OK, off you go there, Alan. We'll join in. <coughs> Come in there, all join in here. All right, Pam. Dem Bones, Dem Bones, Dem Dry Bones, Dem Bones, Dem Bones, Dem Dry Bones, Dem Bones, Dem Bones, Dem Dry Bones. Now here's a word of love. Hey! All right, now, let's play the game. Now, the idea of the game is to get from one side to the other. The first couple to get across get a chance to go on to our final tonight and win anything up to £3,000. You tossed a coin earlier on to decide who's going first. So if your partners would like to go to their places, we can start. Let's give them a nice bit of encouragement. Let's play the game. OK, Sam Paul, you go over there. You can. Right, now, to move across your artist, you have to answer questions from various categories. I'll give you a choice of two, three or four questions for two, three or four moves. You give me an incorrect answer, your opponent automatically gets the opportunity to answer the remaining questions and take your moves. All understood? OK, let's start the game. The first category for you, Peter, is handsome hunks. OK, <laughs> two, three or four? Uh, three, please. Three, for your first move. <clears throat> whose catchphrase is, no, I mean, Harry? Frank Bruno. And for your second move, this one is a decathlete and did commercials for a famous drink. Daley Thompson. And for your third move, there's nothing childish about this guy when he takes to his motorbike. Eddie Kidd. That's it, three moves you, we're off and running. Here we go. <laughs> could just sing that for half hour, couldn't we? Right, let's explain how we play this part of the game. Now, the idea on each of your moves, you could win a prize. It looks simple, but mixed up in the screens by a computer are up to eight hotspots. You, you have to decide when to bank your prizes to avoid the hotspot. What is a hotspot? Not... No! <laughs> OK, Jill, first screen we give you absolutely free. Just stand right about there. Strike the screen. Let's see what you've got. A week in Gambia. Great prize. No prize What do you want to do? Do you want to bank that? Sure. Yeah. It's up to you. You want to go on? Yes. All right, strike. Oh, dear, you're taking a chance. <laughs> it's up to you. Go on, off you go. A radio cassette player and a weekend down here. All right, that's it. Oh, sorry, you had three moves, didn't you? I do apologise. Do you want to stay there? We're going to stay there. I thought you had this one. We'll stay there. Yes. Yeah, you <laughs> All right, we've got those two prizes. Let's go on to the next category, which is sport. For you, Ian, two, three or four? Sport. Two, please. Two. For your first move, with which sport is Christopher Dean associated? Standing. Is wrong, I'm afraid. So straight to you, Alan. With which sport is Christopher Dean associated? Ice skate. And for your second move, with which sport is James Hunt associated? Motor race. Right, that's two moves yours. Okay, there we go. <laughs> All right. Okay, Pam, hang up right here. All right, some pawn. Yeah, don't worry. <laughs> we'll get some for you in a minute. Okay. <laughs> but I'm nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Hey? I'll start the screen now. Yeah, strike it when you like. Yeah. Right, I'll strike it. Go on. The Shetland sweaters. Now, what do you want to do? Do you want to bank those or is it something like that? Going on. Okay, Pam. Stand just about there. Strike the screen. 
Personal stereos and the sweater is real. All right. Going to the next category now, which is uh, musicals for you, Peter. Musicals. Two, three, or four? Um, two, please. Two. All right. If you first move, you went to say three then. Didn't I you? was going to yeah. Never mind. Right. Oh, what a beautiful morning comes from which musical? Oh, what a beautiful morning comes from which musical? Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Is wrong, I'm afraid. <laughs> no, I'd like to. Ian, on what, Oh, what a beautiful morning comes from which musical? Oklahoma. And for the second move, which musical does Do Re Mi come from? Which musical does Do Re Mi come from? My Fair Lady. Is wrong, I'm afraid. Alan, you got a chance to pick these up now? Um, sound of Music. That's right, two moves are yours. OK. <laughs> All right. Dear, a female, dear. Ah, straight the screen. Ooh. Never mind, you haven't lost anything by that. You've moved up one more. We go on to the next category. Back with you again, Peter. It's the planets. Two, three, or four. The planets. Three, please. Three for your first move. This planet has the same name as the goddess of love. The... Venus. Venus. For your second move, this is the furthest planet from the sun. Pluto. And for your third move, through a telescope, this planet appears to have numerous many coloured rings round it. Saturn. That's right, three moves are yours. OK. Hello. All right, strike the screen, Jill. 150 pounds. Do you want to take that? Or Rich is only on the big screen? Yeah. One more. OK, strike the screen. Oh, that's to be somewhere. You lose 150 pounds, you're still in the lead. We come on to the next category. It's for you, Ian. Two, three, or four. You need to get started, but three, what? please. Hey, three. Well done. Three moves. Here, good. Good luck. Nostalgia is the category. Which of these was known as the Force's sweetheart? Vera Lynn. For your second move, who had a hit record with "My Baby Just Cares for Me"? If you're not sure, Ian, take Sophie a Sophie Tucker. Sorry. Sophie Tucker. Is wrong, I'm afraid. Alan, do you know the answer? Uh, is it Nina Simone? Is right. And for the third move, this singer topped the charts with "Softly, Softly." I have to have an answer. Ruby Murray. That's right, three moves are yours. OK. Yeah. All right, be there in a second, never mind. There we are, struck the screen. £100. You want to bank it or is this having on the next screen? £100 come on. cash. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right, Pam, over you come. Mind a step. Here we are, mind the bones. Oh, you lose £100. Never mind. We go on to the next category for you, Peter. Who's famous for what is the category? Who's famous for what? Two, three or four? Three, please. Three. For your first move, which of these earned fame for gardening? Percy Thrower. Second move, which of these earned fame for dancing? Isidore Dun Duncan. And for your third move, which of these earned fame for singing? Which of these earned fame for singing? Take a guess, Peter, if you're um... not sure. Nelly Melba. Is that a guess? Nelly Melba. Well, Is that a guess? Yes, it was. Yeah, good one. All right. Have you got three moves? All right. Okay. Oh. We've got the hot spot out of the way. Yeah. Well, hopefully. I don't know if there's any more. You can't tell. Oh, you fell over there. Oh, you're carrying on without you. You're carrying on without me. Oh, that's all right. You can press them. I'll sit here and watch that. That's all right. <laughs> you fancy that either. That nearly went. Um... Hair by top stylist. Now, what do you think? <laughs> move on, move on. Oh, on. Okay, strike the screen. A hundred pound and the hair by top stylist. Move on. Come on, man. Move on. Hey, it's up to you. What do you want? What have we got? Hey, what have you got? We've got this one at the moment. You have to answer questions on move the next on. one. Go on, then. Go All right, okay. <laughs> go on, here you go. <laughs> oh! Yeah, never mind. That's a hundred pound and the hair by top stylist, sir. Uh, you've lost that. We go on to the next category, which is for you, Ian, which is musical instruments. Two, three, or four? Two, please. Two. Right, for your first move, which instrument is Eric Clapton particularly famous for? Eric Clapton. Piano? No, I'm sorry. Does that come to you, Alan? Guitar. Guitar. For your second move, what is a Steinway? Piano. Piano's right. Two moves are yours. OK. <laughs> Right, Pam, strike the screen. A dishwasher, nice prize. Yeah. You're keeping that? Yes, it'll save me washing it. It's save me washing it. You're going to keep that? It's up to you. It'll save me hands. It'll save me hands. It'll save your hands. Yeah. All right, they're keeping the dishwasher. Yeah. There we are. Yeah. All right, son Paul. Yeah. Okay, come here a minute. 
Yeah. <coughs> Come on. <laughs> Oi. I'll get one out in a minute for you. I'll get it working for you in a sec. <laughs> Not that one. <laughs> Don't bother asking anything, Ian. They're all empty. <laughs> Right, come with you now, Peter. It's poetry. Two, three, or four? Two, please. Two. For your first move, who wrote the following lines? Shall I compare... So we've only got one, so I've got to ask you a minimum of two questions. Right. Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Who wrote the following lines? Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Keats. It's wrong, I'm afraid. Ian, do you know the answer to this? Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Shakespeare. It's right, and for the second move, a thing of beauty is a joy forever. A thing of beauty is a joy forever. Byron? Is wrong, so we come to you now, Alan. Is it Keats? Keats is right, the two moves are yours, OK? <laughs> we are fans about the show. A weekend in Ooh. Cork. Yeah, we'll keep it. All right? We'll keep it. <laughs> you want to make it? OK. No, we'll keep it. Go on. You sure? We'll go on. Yeah, we'll yeah. give you the bottle as well, it's all right. <laughs> Now, the situation we've got now, you've got that £100 there, the weekend in court, you've got to decide whether you're going to bank it or answer the main strike it lucky question. Okay. We'll ask you what you want to do Sorry. in a couple of minutes' time. That's all right. See you after the break. All right, ta <laughs>protect your family from funeral costs or leave them a cash gift when you die, you may be thinking about Over 50's life cover. Sun Life is a name you know, not a newcomer with no track record. Sun Life pays every single claim. No wonder Sun Life is the market leader. Choose Sun Life today and as a thank you, you'll get our biggest gift card worth £125. So don't delay. Call 0800 50 55 50 or search Sun Life Plan today. Rolling down the street with a tank full of gas and a couple of dice in the mirror. Mm -hmm. I'll show you prove nothing you can do when a brother like me pull up. I'll be saying, Come on, little mama, I know you want, so what you gonna do? Got a brand new swagger for you. Get up, get down, turn up, turn around. Got a brand new swagger for you. Walking down the street with a black suitcase and a hustle up in my stair. When a man like me rolls by, got me saying, Come on, little mama, I know you wanna, so what you gonna do? Got a brand new swagger for you. Get up, get down, turn up, turn around. Got a brand new swagger for you. Step in, step out, show what your back. To find out how Battersea can support you in leaving a gift in your will, visit battersea.org.uk slash will. Thousands of top UK brands pay us when you shop, and we share that cash with you. So, thinking of shopping online? Mm -hmm. Top cash back. Save up to £300 per booking, sailing to over 140 destinations. Live happy on a Morella cruise at All Protected. In 1908, we made cleaning your home fast and easy. Now, we're doing it again with the new Hoover Upright Vacuum Cleaner. Designed around high performance with no loss of suction. Lightweight and manoeuvrable across carpets and hard floors. Featuring an easy steerable floor head with anti-twist technology. It cleans your entire home effortlessly. Best in test upright vacuum by Good Housekeeping Institute. The next generation upright vacuum from Hoover. What is that? Whiskey. Did you discover the elixir of youth? You're never too old to become young. What are we gonna do? Shit. Oh. Good morning. <laughs> are you his mom? We are going to Las Vegas. No holds barred. Party. Party. <laughs> never stop living. The best memory that I have in my entire life is the day that I got to prison. My mother had claimed that I had seizure disorders. 
hearing impairment, cancer, I was forced to use a wheelchair. I needed a way out of my reality, and that's why I made the choice to commit murder. The Prison Confessions of Gypsy Rose Blanchard starts Monday the 15th of January on Crime and Investigation. I believe the right house is like a soulmate. You can look at a thousand other houses. Welcome home, Susan. But when the right one comes along, it's magic. There's something in the house making it hard for us to sell. Can we make it go away. We have some unfinished business. Real estate is exciting, isn't it? Surreal Estate. All episodes available from Tuesday on Sky Sci-Fi. Magnum. 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 You're actually enjoying this, aren't you? That's a part two of Strike It Lucky. Now, the situation we've got, we've got some porn who has... Uh, I can't even see her from here. <laughs> you haven't started yet, have you, love? No. No. <laughs> Never mind. Hi, Jill. Excuse me. See if I can get this thing working. There we are. <laughs> it's still not working. <laughs> oh, never mind. Right, I situation we've got Sun Fulton there just on the start, and Gillian there, and we've got Pam and Alan down here on the main Strike It Lucky question. So, what do you want to do? You've got a weekend in Cork, or the hundred pound, or do you want to answer the main Strike It Lucky question? We'll have a go at the question. You have a go at the question. This is for a chance in tonight's final. Remember, if you don't get this right, you lose those prizes and you wait for your next turn. <laughs> I'll ask you this question. You can confer as loud as you like. Then I'll ask you the question again and I must have an answer. Good luck. Here we go. Which best-selling author struck it lucky with his novels The Dogs of War and The Odessa File? You can confer as loud as you like. I'll ask you the question again. Dogs you... of War, Odessa File. Um... <laughs> Dogs of right. War. Okay, I've got to have to ask you the question. Which best-selling author struck it lucky with his novels *The Dogs of War* and *The Odessa File*? Take a guess if you're not sure. Frederick Forsyth. Sorry. Frederick Forsyth. Is that your answer? Yes. You're going on to tonight's yes. final. That's it. There are. Well done, Paul. Over you come. Come back down, William. There you are. Come back with me. There you are. Come back here. Just to get things going, man. Come on! <laughs> What's the matter with you? <laughs> Hello! All right, I'll go around the back and get it, love. Wait there. <laughs> hey, oi, hey, where are you going? <laughs> come on! Out you come. <laughs> 250 pounds! Okay, Ian and Sun Porn, let's tell you what you've won. You've got to take away with you £250. Okay, you had a nice night with us. There we are. And, uh, Victor and Gillian, you've won a ready cassette player and a week in Gambia. So it's a lovely prize. Okay, All the best when you get married. Okay, Thanks for well, well done. Good done. And uh, each and every one of you will uh, all take away a memento of the show so you can play the game at home. All right, and now let's tell you, Alan and Pam, what you've got. You've got Shetland sweaters, personal stereos, a dishwasher, a weekend in cork, and a hundred pound already, and a chance now to go anything up to three thousand pounds. Let's give them all a great round of applause. Come on, Pam, you've got to come through. Let's find yourself through there. There we are. Come on, Alan. Over you come. You played the end game, you move across as before, but this time you play the game horizontally and vertically. I'll ask you which move you want to make you shut out top, middle, or bottom. If you look at the screen there now, you can see we've got 10 arrows, 10 questions, and 10 hotspots. If a question comes up, it'll be true or false. You give me an incorrect answer, it becomes a hotspot. If you go for our top money tonight of £3,000, you cannot hit any more than two hotspots. For £2,000, no more than three hotspots, and for £1,000, no more than four hotspots. We've made a change to this particular series. If you go for our top money of £3,000, but you fail to get right the way across, we're going to give you £300 for every move you do successfully make, but not for the hot spots, so you can add up anyway. Ooh. And um, for £2,000, <laughs> uh, we'll give you £200, and for £1,000, £100. OK, before you make your mind up, our computer will now jumble them all up. There you go. 
Right, the prizes you won already, they're safe. You won't lose those at all. 1,000, 2,000 or 3,000 pounds. What do you think they should go for? Going for the 3,000 pounds. Let's give it a chance. Maybe 10 pounds, send that in. That's the luck, yeah. That's a nice prize anyway, so yeah. Good luck. All right. There we go there. All right, I'm sure to give you a lot of encouragement in the audience and people at home as well. Top, middle or bottom? And we're going for £3,000. Top, middle or bottom? Bottom. Oh! Bottom. Bottom. You want the bottom one? Oh! That's a disastrous start. There we go. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> a nice, nice little gesture from the policeman. Yo! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying anymore. Uh, you won't say anymore. anymore. Yeah. All right, so I'll do it next time. Yeah. Top, middle, or bottom? Top, middle, or bottom? <laughs> go on, go on. It's all chart. Top. Top. <laughs> oh, this is unbelievable. Okay, all right. Well, you can't afford to get any more hot spots. Okay, and if you get a true force, it's got to be correct. Well, surely we can't get it on this one. Top, middle, or bottom? Top. Top again. Top again. We don't want a hot spot, please. Oh, 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 that's terrible. We're going to give a nice round of applause. I'm sorry about that. Come here, Alan. Might as well go for it. Okay, let's come that side. Let's have a look at the hot spots to see where they all are. Ooh, yeah, there's, a, there's a load on that side, isn't there? Well, that's how it goes. The computer sorts them out. Let's tell you what you want. You've got Shetland sweaters, personal stereos, a dishwasher, a weekend in cork, and a hundred pound. Have you enjoyed your evening with us? Fantastic. Thanks Thank for being you. with us. Well done, Alan. Well done, Pam. <laughs> That's all we've got time for. Till we see you at the same time next week. Good night, God bless. All right, good night. Thank you. Cheers. I'm Sue Cook. Like a lot of us recently, I've been looking at the cost of living and ways to save money. One of our biggest expenses is planning a funeral. A traditional service with all its formalities, big shiny cars, crowds of mourners and so on, can cost over £4,000. Not everyone can afford that. But the good news is there's a more straightforward alternative for less than half that price. With a distinct cremations plan, you get a simple cremation free of fuss and with no hidden costs or extra bills to pay. To find out more, call Distinct Cremations for a free guide on 0800 047 3614. The price is fixed as of today, so you won't have to worry about rising prices. And because you're not paying for things you don't really want, the money saved could be spent on remembering you in a more personal way and at a time and place that better suits loved ones. And Distinct Cremations even offer a money-back guarantee. So for a dignified farewell without spending more than you need, call Distinct Cremations for this free guide. You'll be in very good company. To find out more, call Distinct Cremations for a free guide on 0800 047 3614. That's 0800 047 3614. Or visit distinctcremations.co.uk. With Sky Store, you can take your new year to a whole new level. Ready? Ready. Then let's do this. Higher, further, faster. Now! Mysteries have a way of driving people mad. What? Whoa. Drama! Now let's roll! You could change all their lives, Mr. Walker. Where do we start? With over 10,000 movies at your fingertips, you're in for an epic new year with Sky Store. Take my hands. Now feel. You might want to buckle up. Coming in hot! Try not to blow up the world. Ready? Yeah!